Hey there, it's Stephanie, and today I'm going to show you how to feed your sourdough. So if you got a sourdough culture from me um, on Etsy, you would have received 100 grams of sourdough culture. And so as soon as you get it, you are going to want to feed it right away because it will be hungry. If you're not quite ready to start baking, then you will actually want to put the lid on uh, and keep it in the fridge, but just make sure that you're feeding it at least once a week. So I'm gonna start baking uh, bread and it's a two day process. So this video will be step one and each sub subsequent video uh, will be the steps throughout my entire baking process so that you can replicate this at home for you and your family. So you have our sourdough culture here. I have 100 grams in here, that's what you would have as well as 100 grams. Now I always keep my sourdough culture in this jar. Uh, so what I usually do is I feed it and then it's not always 100 grams. So I always use a scale and I use uh, the weight of grams. I've in the past used um, cups um, in US measure measurements, but I feel that my success in the sourdough and how it came out wasn't quite as, it was it just wasn't near as good as, as this. So I definitely recommend getting a scale. So I know my, my glass weighs 468, so then I just take that measurement minus the total amount that is in uh, the, the total weight of the sourdough in the jar and then just subtract that. And then I will know exactly what is in my sourdough without having to like take it all out and measure it, if that makes sense. So today we're going to start by feeding and I usually feed around um, anywhere between 11 and 1 o'clock, so 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. because it will take five to seven hours by the time uh, it's doubled and reached its peak uh, so that it, you're ready to start making the bread. So 100 grams of starter we're going to need to put in 100 grams of water and 100 grams of flour. So then you're just going to want to make sure to tear this so it's at zero grams to start so you know how much water to exactly to put in. So we're trying to get to 100. And then if I do get a little too much, I like to get just a little measurement and then just take some out. It's easier if you put the water in first. Okay, so we've got 100 grams of water in. We're gonna tear again so that it's at zero. And then I'm gonna get a clean measurement so the flour does not stick. Make sure that's zero. And then we're gonna put 100 grams of the flour in. And for flour, I use organic unbleached flour from King Arthur. Uh, sometimes I feed my starter with organic rye flour because I really like the rye taste and I feel like it feeds the, the culture really well. But I feel like my body does best on um, organic because you're not dealing with the, um, the pesticides and the glyphosate. So I'm just making sure I have exactly 100. Okay, so we've got the water and the flour in here and then I'll just use my little pastry whisk. And this just really makes sure that you get all of the clumps out. Sometimes, if I don't use this, I'll see clumps in there. So I just really like to use this to help really get to the bottom of that jar. And just 
give it a good mix. Okay, so we have fed our starter and it will double in size as the afternoon goes on. And then in the next video, I will be showing you how to start uh, making the bread. So that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see um, and to get more notifications from me. And I will see you in the next video.